Okay, so you're pulling your footage into Final Cut Pro from your iPhone or your camera and it's looking super overblown or overexposed. Well, I'm gonna show you the fix for that in this video. Hey, welcome to the video. I'm Mark from Editor's Keys and I'm gonna jump straight into this one. I know this is causing you a big headache. So what's happening is you're pulling in footage from your iPhone 13, iPhone 12 in 10 bit or cinematic mode or maybe a Sony camera, and you're having this issue where you look at this footage here and look, we've got a nice little shot of a harbor. Looks all great on here. I pull it onto the timeline within Final Cut Pro, and then it just looks super blown out like this. What is the fix? Well, I can tell you, do not try to adjust this like you would any other shot by dragging the highlights and shadows up and down. It won't work. Now, I did do another video quite a while ago on this, uh, about the kind of more detailed way you can fix this, but there is a, an updated way, and I realized I hadn't done an updated video on this, and this is probably the easier way. So what you wanna do is go over to your video effects and type in the word HDR, and you'll get HDR tools here. What you need to do is drag and drop this onto your clip, and you'll see it doesn't fix it straight away. So go to your inspector, click up here, and then what you wanna do, and this is the secret, is change the mode from HDR to Rec. 709 to HLG to Rec. 709. And you can see there, this footage, let's just get rid of the inspector, looks perfect. That looks just how I filmed it. And now you can do your color corrections as you would. This also happens to cinematic mode footage. So you can see this is a cinematic mode shot taken from our iPhone 13 Pro review that you can see by clicking up here. And again, I've pulled it in and it's looking super overexposed. It doesn't do this in the viewer. So again, if we drag the HDR tools onto this, so we've gone to the inspector, we've turned on HDR tools, and we're gonna again change from HDR to HLG. And we can see there now, if we play back this footage, it looks great. It looks just how we filmed it on the iPhone 13 Pro. So there we go. I promised you this would be a quick fix and that's exactly what it is. So let me know in the comment section below if this helped you. And by the way, if you wanna see our full review of the iPhone 13 Pro, you can click up here. And we also have a ton, an absolute ton of Final Cut Pro tutorials on this channel. So make sure you subscribe, hit the like button and the notification bell if you wanna be notified of our future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.